Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be talking about five things I wish I knew before I started college. So if you are just starting out in college, maybe you're a freshman or maybe you're a senior in high school, this video will especially help you guys because these are just some things that I didn't know that I wish I did before I became a college student. So. Without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Number one is balance is the key to success in college. I am kind of a nerd and I am the type of person that will always put my homework first before hanging out with friends and all of that type of stuff. I mean, Yes, you should put your homework first. You should be doing your studies. That's what you're here for. But it's important to also be intentional about your relationships because friendships in college are hard to keep up with because people are going all sorts of different directions and it's, it just can be hard to keep friendships. So that's why it's definitely important to have a balance so if you're the person that typically puts friends above studies, make sure that you actually put some time towards your homework and vice versa. If you also put studies before your friends, then make sure that you spend some time with friends too. So that would be my number one tip, I guess, for you guys. Just make sure you have a balance. And this can definitely take a while to master because... There is so many things that you're juggling as a college student, so give yourself some grace, especially in the first year as you're still trying to figure out how to do this college thing, but it's definitely something that you should be working towards to have balance in your life to the best of your ability. Number two is invest in the people around you, and this kind of goes with what I was talking about earlier, but these friendships in college may most likely be the friendships that you have throughout your adult life. In high school with friendships, I don't really try to be super close with people or I didn't, but in college that is the time to really invest in the people around you, get to know who they are in a deep and personal way, and just make friendships that will last a lifetime. That's what college is for, that's what they always tell you about college, so make sure that you're actually being intentional, like I was talking about earlier, with your friendships. Make sure you spend some time with them, block out times in your day to spend with them because, like I said, it's hard to balance everything. So make sure you're intentional about investing into the friends around you. Next, number three, professors aren't as strict as they told us they would be. I've had a lot of pretty chill professors. For the most part, that's how most professors are. I've been to two different colleges, and that's what I've learned at the two different colleges that I've been to, is most professors just are trying to do their job, they just want to see you succeed, and they will help you out to the best of their ability if you ask for help. So professors aren't really super scary like you would expect them to be or like our high school teachers told us. That is not the case that I've experienced at my colleges that I've been to. I have had a few professors that were taking it way too seriously and just really strict with their rules and their homework and guidelines and all of those things. So you will run into that but for the most part Professors are pretty chill. They even would like to be your friends if you like to be friends with teachers. I don't really do that, but if you like to do that, they will definitely be your friend <laughs> because college professors are just chill. They're just really easygoing compared to what we all were told. Number four, don't take on more you can handle. And there's two ways that I mean that sentence. The first is definitely don't take on too much of a load because there is so many times where students will take full-time credits and do extracurriculars and have a job or play a sport. And there are so many things that you can be juggling, but you want your college experience to be enjoyable. You don't want to suffer while you're in college. So definitely understand your limits know how much you can handle and how much you can't handle. 
I definitely feel like I handle a lot of things, but I don't want to overwork myself. I'm not involved in any extracurriculars on campus at all because I have a job, I'm a full-time student, I have friends and a boyfriend, and that's just what I can handle. So just know what you can handle, and that's the first way that I mean that sentence. The second way that I mean that sentence, the don't take on more you can handle, is when it comes to classes and things that you're doing, it's important to pay attention to what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy. Because if you are taking a bunch of classes for your major and you're dreading going to those classes, you avoid doing the homework for those classes, that can be an indication that you don't actually enjoy that particular subject. So pay attention to those things and if you do find that you don't enjoy something and you're able to, I would suggest dropping it or doing something like that. I found out the other day that I was taking a class that I really didn't need to take and it is a big commitment and I didn't really want to be a part of it so I dropped it and if you have that ability I definitely recommend doing it because you want your college experience to be enjoyable, to learn about the things that you care about. So if we are spending all of our time learning about things we don't care about, then that can make us not like college and make us dread going to class and all of those things. This is not talking about like general ed type of stuff because everyone has to take general ed. So that is excluded from this. But I'm talking about if you're taking classes for your major, if you're doing extracurriculars or sports or just any of those things, really be self-aware about what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy. And those can be an indication of what you actually will enjoy for a career or for hobbies later in life. So that is what I mean by don't take on more than you can handle. Lastly, number five, ask for help if you need it. And I think we're under the misconception that now that we're college students and for some reason we think we have our life figured out, we don't need help and that is definitely not the case. Whether it's academic help, emotional help, all those types of things, we need to actually ask for it if we need it. And I don't know about other schools, but my school offers an academic support center that helps you if you're struggling in a class, which I know a lot of people that are going there just to get extra help which is definitely a good idea if you're struggling in a class that you need to be passing, then definitely I recommend seeking out the academic help. But also, my college offers free counseling for anybody that's interested, and I think that is such a good idea because when we are going, 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 and going to classes and extracurriculars and sports and jobs and all of these different things, it's easy for us to not be in tune with our inner self and our emotions and how we're actually feeling. And we could be going for months and realize that we actually hate our lives and we are miserable, but that's what counseling is helping you with, is helping you answer questions about your inner self and your emotional self and I just think that is such a good idea. So if you have the opportunity to go to counseling or something like that, I definitely recommend going while you're in college because that could be very helpful for you as well. And I don't think any college students should be suffering or struggling. It's like a trend in college to be not getting enough sleep, to be behind in homework. I don't think you need to live like that. I think you can actually thrive in college and get the things that you need to get done. And if you are struggling, I recommend you ask for help so that you can thrive and have a wonderful time in college. So that is my little tips for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a little bit of insight about college. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye, guys.